So I often get asked, Sarah, where do you keep your clothes? Since you're thrifting so much, it must be impossible to keep a tidy closet. I store clothes in many different places. But today I'm actually taking you guys to our abandoned pop-up shop slash my fifth closet. You guys know I haven't been shopping all that much in quarantine, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you guys what I've been hoarding and finally sell some stuff to you guys. So thanks to Depop for sponsoring this video. All of that will be at the end of it and a sneak peek at my first collection. So let's get into it. Some things truly just have not changed on this channel. Safety first, my friends. like Sarah where are you <laughs> well this was our little pop-up thrift store space that we had so many wonderful pop-ups at and we've pretty much left it abandoned for almost 12 months now so there's a lot of good stuff in here I'm gonna go through it I'm gonna find some things hopefully and give you guys a haul when I get home and hopefully find things to sell <laughs> want to go 50 50 on the wet ones <laughs> and the lice all wipes this is what we came here for so as you can tell things are all over the place there's like random, there's like random art in. Oh my God. I don't even want to know what's in here. There's just, oh, I forgot about these shorts. These actually fit me. What a glorious day. I forgot I got these. I got these in Buffalo. Oh yeah, we used to wear those. Yeah. These are perfect. This is a cool one. Oh, I forgot about that. I definitely want that. What a classic. Great memory from our LA trip. Never forget. This is cute. Okay, I bought this at the end of last summer. I can definitely do a thrift flip here. I think this was the men's. I thought I honestly got rid of this one. Reading spaces! That's kind of a joke. I should wear that in my next one makeover video. He debated it, but oh, he asked me did he? Where is he now? Oh, we're slushy machine. No way. Lots of good things. That's a good rod. Coming soon. Yeah, that's a good rod. So that is what I'm gonna be taking. Well, we gotta be taking all this somewhere. So this stuff, though, we will be selling that sometime soon. Stay tuned for that. The dust is definitely getting to me in here. Should have popped a react, or did I pop a react in this morning? I don't even remember. This is all stuff from our pop-up last summer. Can you believe it was like just over a year ago that we had our crazy $5 sale in this very building? That was a hot, 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 hot day. <sighs> what a time. Wish we could do that again. Wish we could hang out with you all and thrift and do stuff and, you know, be married. Why did you want that? These are the things that didn't sell at the last pop-up that we had. No, some are going into fall. Whoa! This is cute, but I had a hole. I got this last summer and this. We love a Betty Boop item. We've got some high like demand Depop items right here. Ah, another. Wait, guys, I have a whole new wardrobe. This is insane. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, these are like all coming home with me. Thank you very much. I did wear a lot of these last summer though. Like I wore this to Oshiega and this one. You so much stuff. I know. I'm like, oh shit. Looks like some of it was thrown out. Just kidding. <laughs> miss that sound. I miss just doing this at each, you know, like, I know. sifting through. Not having to worry about catching COVID. Not touching weird things. My Kobe shirt. Yeah, that was cute. did last summer up north in Muskoka. Now it's mine, adding to my absurd collection of buddies. What's that one? Oh, that was Daniel's. Mirrors back, ladies and gentlemen. And that's all I think I can handle for today. So it is a very exciting day, probably very exciting for many of you because I think the most asked question and like demand from you guys is where's my Depop? Do you have Depop? Post on Depop. Do it now, Sarah. Thank you very much. So your wishes are coming true. I have posted on Depop in the past, but with all of our pop-ups that we've done over the last couple of years, I just didn't have the energy to sell online. But with quarantine and everything like that, I think it's gonna bring me a lot of joy, like sending my pieces to you guys, selling them, seeing you guys style them, and I'm excited. So thank you to Depop for actually sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have my shop linked down below, of course, for you guys. It's just Sarah Dunk, so plain and simple for you guys to find. And I'm hopefully gonna be uploading around like 25 items each week. And guys, you know what's really funny? My first ever sponsored video back in like 2014, 2013, I wanna say, was actually a Depop video. This is when like no one knew about Depop. I'll just let the pictures speak for themselves. So I'm glad we're coming full circle here. And today, <laughs> this one's gonna be a lot better. Hopefully I won't look back on this one in five years and think what the F was I doing, but I'm gonna share some tips with you guys on how to make sales on Depop, how I list my stuff. After this, you guys can go and shop, which I am stoked about. If you guys have been keeping up with my weekly vlog slash they're honestly just like weekly thrift hauls and thrift trips at this point, you would have seen me do a fabric haul. So I actually picked up a bunch of fabric just at a local fabric store that I thought would work as good backdrops. I know backdrops like traditional fabric and paper <laughs> backdrops can get kind of expensive. They can take up a lot of room. So my tip to you guys is to go out, get some fabric. All you really need is like three yards of it. <laughs> There's so many options out there. All you need to do is attach some safety pins to it and then nail in some little pins into your wall. Just maybe do it when your parents aren't home and they don't hear you hammering away. It's okay, it's all part of the hustle, you guys. And you're good to hook it up and take it down whenever you're not taking pictures or leave it up there if you just want it to become a part of you, your aesthetic. Don't recommend anything too crazy and loud or anything that's gonna clash, so that's why I think today I'm actually gonna go with the black and white one because I'm shooting a lot of pink items and I think it'll pop. I really highly, highly, highly encourage good lighting and I know that can be hard to find, so even Taking your pictures outdoors can be a great option. If you really want to guarantee sales and take your depopping to like a whole professional side hustle level, then I'd highly recommend investing in a couple of things, one being a steamer. Today, I'm honestly just gonna be doing my backdrop so that we have a seamless looking background, but if you really want to make sure every clothing piece looks immaculate, then steaming it out just before is a really great simple idea and it literally takes like two seconds. Okay, so for efficiency in terms of pictures, obviously I recommend doing it in daylight. Make sure it's not too hot though. If you don't have air conditioner like me, it's gonna be a little struggle. So make sure you tie your hair up and you have a beverage going on the side. What I like to do is I like to have everything just to the left of me in bins kind of categorized by like an aesthetic, the season, the color. This is gonna make it a lot easier once you actually go onto Depop and start posting. 
So all I actually use is my phone. I use one of those little tripods that has a Bluetooth remote on it. I find it's the easiest because I'm gonna be uploading from my phone anyway, so there's no real point in me like having a big camera and trying to finesse the pictures on there when we all know I am no photographer. What I also like to do is wear like a very simple top and then a very simple neutral pair of bottoms. That way if I'm shooting like a more vibrant pattern skirt or something like that, I know the top is gonna match and vice versa with the bottoms. So I feel like the major key of Depop is actually wearing the items, and I know that can be hard when you want to thrift for different sizes and stuff like that. Hopefully one day down the line I can hire models. That would be so freaking cool. What I recommend is definitely having multiple different angles. You want to have like at least five photos, one more close up, one a little further away, and one maybe showing like some special details if there are any or like a really cool logo. So that's why I'm trying to position the camera at a place where I can like move closer and further away from the camera and still get those angles and be able to crop them into a little square. And of course the sun literally comes out right as I'm on the last top. But that's the beauty of Depop, my friends. That was exhausting, but a lot of fun. So you guys know where to find these items. Sarah Dunk, I'm gonna try and list 25 items a week because your girl has a lot of clothes. And I know I asked you guys in the last vlog, but I have a feeling that some new people might be around this time or some of you guys missed it. So make sure I'm gonna leave a pinned comment down below and leave your Depops there because I might be working on something else really fun. So thanks again to Depop for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see y'all in the next one.